Heidi ho student arenos. A little Simpsons reference there for you. Jimmy again. It's about 11.10 now. I'm going to do another example. This time I'm going to take my image assignment, which I've completed. Okay, I really haven't completed. It's the exact template I talked about before, but there it is. So I've written it using a uh, text wrangler and I've saved it and I know where I've saved it. Here, let's actually file, save as. I'm going to make sure I know what I've called it, image-page-template.html. It's on my desktop. It's UTF-8, all the things that I needed to do. I'm going to replace it because I know it's safe. Good. Now I'm ready to actually put it up on the web. So let's talk about how to do that. I'm going to get rid of this window and go to FileZilla. Okay, so I have a copy of FileZilla, which is a free Windows and Mac FTP client. And again, FTP is the way we're going to get our files from our computers, our HTML files and pictures, if we have any, from our computer up onto the web server. So FTP is kind of like a back door to allow us as administrators to get our files off our computer and up onto the web. So uh, I'm going to click this little icon here, the site manager, and you'll notice that I've made jn0074.peakofallpeas.net. That's my URL, just like your URL. I put my username in there. I selected SFTP as the transfer type of the protocol there, which is a more secure way to do FTP. If I were using regular FTP, it's possible someone could actually break into my stream of data and figure out my username and password and stuff like that. So SFTP is more secure. Uh, so there's my username, there's my password. Again, those three things, your URL, your username, and your password, you can get all three of those things from me or Jewelry if you just send us an email and ask. Hey, what's my URL, my username, and my password for FTP? And I can tell you. So if I hit connect now, now that I've filled all that out, some stuff should happen. Notice up at the top there's some server-related nonsense. Down at the bottom will be any uh, information about transferring files. Over on the left-hand side, these are the files on my computer. And on the right, these are the files on the server. I know I mentioned this before, but it's worth saying again. If I don't put my files into this folder, into jn0074.peakofallpeas.net, the one with my actual URL, they're not on the web. That's like delivering files to a store but keeping them in the back room. What I want to do is make them publicly available. So I'm going to actually double click so that over on the right hand side I'm now definitely in my folder. You can see it's selected up here in this menu list here. And I'm going to take my file that I've written on my local computer from the left and click and drag over to the right. Some stuff happens down here. It says, oh, I'm transferring your file. So now if I wanted to, I can, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose copy URL to clipboard. Now if I go to a web browser and go to a, let's close this tab. I'll use this tab. I'm not sure what I was doing and I'll paste the stuff in there. Now watch, there's a whole lot of extra things in here. If I delete everything at the front so that all it says is jn0074.peakofallpeas.net slash image page html image page template and hit enter, it loads my page. Okay? So you can also, if you don't want to right click and copy it, you could just look at the file name, image-page.template.html and add it onto the end. So I know I said this before, but I'll show you again. If I go to just my URL and hit enter, I get a page that says coming soon. That's because by default, the web server has an index page that uh, prevents people from just seeing all the files in your domain, in your folder anyway, in your URL. So in order to see the file, I've got to type the entire file name image dash page dot template dot html oh, except I must have typed it wrong oh dash pardon me guys there it goes notice if you get the name wrong it gives you a file not found error that was convenient uh, so let me show you what I did one more time if you once you've uploaded your file from the left to the right I can right click here in FileZilla and choose copy URL to clipboard go to my web browser and paste into the address bar and then delete everything except for the actual website so that it says jn0074.peakofallpeas.net slash whatever and then I don't have to type the file name in manually so that's one way to do that so unless I specifically tell you otherwise you're, I'm going to expect you to write your code on your local computer using your particular text editor like I use text wrangler here or notepad plus plus in windows and then from that, once you're done editing it, you'll have to then upload it up to the web using FTP and then open it up in your browser like this. So let's say that I make a change. 
let's say that I notice, oh no, I meant for this to be an exclamation point. So I go and put an exclamation point. Even though I might save it in my uh, text editor, if I go to the web browser, it's still the three dots, it's still the ellipsis. And just because I saved it in my web browser, in my uh, text editor, does not mean that it's up on the web again. Every time I make a change in my text editor, I've actually got to go back to FileZilla and upload it again. And it says, that file's already there. Are you sure you want to overwrite it? I say yes. Now if I go back to my web browser and hit refresh, there's my change. So it's a complicated process. You've got to edit your code in the template, then save it, then once it's saved, upload it again via FTP and overwrite it, and then go to your browser and refresh and you'll see the changes. Just because you edit things on your local computer doesn't mean you'll be able to see them on the web until they've been FTP'd. Okay, that's at least enough to be getting on with. Let me know if you have questions.